Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Playing Pauper. So this week, we are playing a deck that we did an instant deck tech of a couple of weeks ago, one of the crazier pauper decks we've seen in a while, and that is Defense. Defender combo. So looking to make a ton of mana with our defenders and eventually infinite combo. Kill our opponent with Valica Invoker freed from the real on Axe Bane Guardian after drawing tons and tons and tons of cards. So the deck looks pretty janky, but it does have a combo. It can make lots of mana. The downside is we're playing a whole bunch of walls. There's a whole bunch of creatures with defender. Not much power, so we will see how it goes. But like usual, gonna do a super quick two-minute deck Deck, just as kind of a refresher of how the deck works. If you want a full breakdown of Defender Combo, make sure to follow the link down below to the Instant Deck Deck, see the full breakdown of the deck. Anyway, a quick reminder before we break down Defender Combo for Pauper. If you enjoy this deck and you enjoy playing Pauper in general, it would be amazing of you if you could take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk Defender Combo, and Defender Combo is all about two different defenders. So our primary combo piece is Axe Bane Guardian, also Overgrown Battlement, pretty good. These are creatures that add mana equal to the number of creatures with Defender we control. So if we can play a bunch of walls, a bunch of creatures with Defender, they tap for a lot of mana. So x Bane Guardian is a little bit more fragile, dies to Lightning Bolt, but the fact that it taps for mana of any color and any combination of colors is really key to our combo. We can't really go infinite with Overgrown Battlement because it only makes green mana. So to go infinite, we gotta eventually find our x Bane Guardian. Wall of Roots adds even more mana, puts another defender on the battlefield. Shield Sphere, Jotty Offshoot, just cheap creatures with defender to up our defender count and allow us to add as much mana as possible with x Bane Guardian. And then we have Mnemonic Wall, which kind of leads us into the second piece of our combo. With the help of Ghostly Flicker and Muldrifter, and all the mana we make from x Bane Guardian and Overgrown Battle Map, we don't really go infinite here, but we can draw a lot of cards by repeatedly flickering Mnemonic Wall along with Muldrifter to draw two. Mnemonic Wall gets back Ghostly Flicker, do it again, do it again, do it again. And that draws us into our game-winning combo pieces, or it draws us into Drift of Phantasms to transmute and find our combo pieces. So the end game of this deck is is freed from the real on x Bane Guardian. If we can have at least one other wall on the battlefield or defender on the battlefield to go along with our freed from the real on x Bane Guardian, we basically have infinite mana because we can tap x Bane Guardian for two, three, four, however many mana, however many defenders we have. Then we just pay a blue, untap it, tap it again for mana, pay a blue, untap it, infinite mana, and then eventually we will drift out our Valica Invoker or just draw into it with Mold Drifters and Ghostly Flickers and all that stuff we've been talking about to shoot our opponent in the face for three damage again and again and again and again with our infinite mana. Otherwise, lead the stampede, deep analysis, keep us cycling through our deck. Pulse a little bit of life gain, can get back like our Drift of Phantasms after we transmute it, a combo piece that got killed. Mana beast, some pauper dual lands, some basic lands. Sideboard, we have Dispel and Hydrobest for protection. Scattershot Archer and Stormbound Geist to deal with flyers out of Delver primarily. Moments piece for aggro, Pulse Marasa, more life gain into fight through removal. Fangrid Marauder to host decks like Affinity. Capsize is a little bit more removal. Also a backup win con if we have enough mana. And that is Defender Combo for Popper. And that's our playing Popper deck for this week. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the gameplay. And I will talk to you soon. All right. Playing Popper time. We are checking out the Crazy Wall Mill deck from our instant deck deck a week ago. So let's see how this crazy deck goes. And all right. I mean, we got some life gain we have some card draw that's pretty much what this deck looks like hopefully we uh assemble our combo eventually opponent leads on a mountain well if this is burn i like this hand play a forest play jotty offshoot pass the turn like even just jotty offshoot seems insane against burn mountain i guess it could be like goblins yeah searing blaze all right it does appear to be burn down to 70 i'll play an island play wall of roots pass the turn See what our opponent's got. Mountain. Thermo Alchemist. And get to Lava Runner. All right. Yep. Opponent passes. We draw an island. We'll play the island. Play Axe Bane Guardian. Pass the turd. We are going to want to find some life gain eventually. 
Thermo Alchemist, down to 16. Lightning Bolts, Axe Bane Guardian, untaps. Yep. Okay, down to 15. Land. Opponent's down to two cards. Opponent goes attacking. All right. I mean, we're going to block. If our opponent can blow us out, then I guess they can blow us out. Curse of Pure Start. And Lava Spike. Okay. Let's see if we can find some life gain. Opponent passes. Down to 11. Mnemonic Wall. Well, let's lead the Stampede. Looking for Jotty Offshoot. Shield Sphere, Overgrown Battlement, Mnemonic Wall. We'll play the Forest. Play Battlement. Play Shield Sphere. Pass the turn. All right. So now we can mnemonic wall back lead the stampede i guess or go on the deep analysis plan opponent goes attacking well let's block with shield sphere our least important of our walls yep gets a counter if we can find some life gain we're in great shape down to 10 wall of roots hmm oh play wall of roots overgrown battlement for mnemonic wall get back lead the stampede <sighs> Hmm. Cast lead the stampede, floating a green. All right, there's Jotty Offshoot. That's good. Put the rat to the bottom, play Offshoot, play Evolving Wilds, gain a life, and pass the turn. All right, now we might be in pretty good shape. Opponent pings us down to 10. Now let's crack Evolving Wilds, grab a mountain, back up to 11, pass the turn. Opponent gets it. Well, block with Shield Sphere. Down to four toughness. Another Alchemist. Ew. Okay. Down to 10. Well, play Thornwood Falls. Go up to 12. Play Deep Analysis. Draw two. Play Muldrifter. No Evoke. Draw two. Play Axeman Guardian. Play Overgrown Battlement. Pass the turn. All right. I think our opponent has to kill us this turn, which is not impossible with Double Thermo Alchemist. I don't think it's likely, but it's not impossible. If we untap, we can start gaining lots of life. Opponent gets in. We will block with Muldrifter. Yeah, block with Muldrifter. Stay at 11. Opponent passes. Okay. This is where we wanted to be. So down to 10. Please, no death. Play Evolving Wilds. Gain a life. Add blue. Transmute Drift of Phantasms. All right, let's think this through. Yeah, Transmute Drift, get Paul Sumarasa. Paul Sumarasa, get back Muldrifter. Up to 17. Cast Muldrifter, draw some cards. Crack Evolving Wilds, gain some life. Get an Island. Play Mnemonic Wall, get back Paul Sumarasa. Paul Sumarasa, get back Drift of Phantasms. Transmute Drift of Phantasms for Ghostly Flicker. Ghostly Flicker, Mnemonic Wall, Mole Drifter. And I think this just does it. Draw some cards, get back Ghostly Flicker. We don't win yet, but we're very, we're very close to winning. Then we can Ghostly Flicker, Double Mnemonic Wall. Get back Paul Tsumurasa and ghostly flicker and this is the wall combo now we just wait till next turn we're up to 24 against burn with two cards in hand play jotty offshoot play axe main guardian cast another mall drifter and pass the turn yeah now we now we just have it locked up we don't have a counter to protect the combo but we can go for the infinite combo next turn there's no way our opponent's gonna 24 us here and we can just keep Paltum Rossing. Another Curse of the Pier start. Yep. Opponent passes. Sure. So down to 20. From Curse to the Pier start. Evolving Wilds. Well, let's start with Paul Sumarasa. Get back Drift. I guess we should have Wall of Roots first. Uh, play Wall of Roots. Use Axbane Guardian for blue. Transmute Drift. Now we just get freed from the reel and go for it. Is it risky to go for it? I guess not. Let's take freed from the reel. Put it on guardian. If our opponent has removal, whatever. Okay. Tap for mana. Untap. Tap for mana. 
I guess we just show the win condition. Uh, so we need to ghostly flicker, get back, ghostly flicker, get back Pulse Marasa. <laughs> this deck. Our opponent's taking it out, so you get to see the entire combo. So thank you to our opponent for letting you see how the combo works. Pulse Marasa back Drift to Phantasms. Transmute Drift to Phantasms. Get Valica Invoker. Play Valica Invoker. And now we just have infinite damage to go with our infinite mana. And infinite life. Just infinite. We're infinite all around. <laughs> uh, okay. So, hit our opponent. Untap. Tap. Untap. Tap. Oh, so many clicks. So many clicks with wall combo. This feels like it might be a good matchup. Untap. Tap. Oh my god. Oh, misclicking. We're supposed to tap for mana. It doesn't really matter. There's no way we can mess it up, but it is extra clicks. Alright, tap for mana. Three our opponent. Oh my goodness, this combo. It works. It's a little clunky. If you're on... If you're playing in paper, it would be a lot easier because you just be like all right i do this i do this i got infinite mana i shoot you enough times to kill you but we're doing it the hard way i think we have enough mana floating now though maybe hit our opponent well that is wall combo that is exactly what our deck's supposed to be doing shield sphere blocking blocking the burn creatures hit our opponent one more time for the valica invoker hit our opponent Oh, we got there. We got there. We got there. All right, Burn. We're playing against Burn. What do we want against Burn? Two Hydro Blasts makes sense. Pulse of Marasa seems nice for the life gain, and maybe two Dispels. What are we going down is a more important question. Our blockers seem good. Jotty Offshoot's great. Maybe we just go down Shield Spheres. Do we want this many counters, actually? Maybe we just go two Hydro Blasts and trust that our life gain will keep us safe against the Burn Spells. Let's try it like that. Uh, all right. We got Offshoot. Our mana's a bit clunky, but Offshoot and Pulse and Marasa, two of our best cards in the matchup. Lava Runner for our opponent. All right, Forest, Offshoot, go. Does our opponent have Searing Blaze? If they have to kill Offshoot with Lightning Bolt, that's pretty all right with us. We're kind of fine with that. Searing Blaze is a bit more painful. All right, Chain Lightning. Yep. Well, at least our opponent had to use a real burn spell. They are going to Lava Runner into Goblin Guide, though. Down to 17. Two Drop Wall would be nice. Something that we can cast and block this turn. Down to 15. Opponent passes. All right, Island Go. So we got to take our beats. Opponent. Going to get in for two. Yep. Down to 13. And Curse of the Pure Start. Sure. Down to 12. Oh, play the forest, and we're just going to pulse while our opponent's tapped out. Go back up to 18. Get back offshoot. Pass the turn. The next turn, we can do something like offshoot, land, gain a life, evoke mall drifter. Ew. Another curse of the pure start. Yep. Bone it. Gets in. Back down to 16. Plus, we're taking two a turn from curse of the pure start, which is kind of annoying. All right. Yep. Down to 14. Ooh. Another pulse is sweet. So... Play Offshoot, play a Forest, gain a life, evoke a Muldrifter, draw a couple cards. All right, couple lands, that's fine. Pass the turn. Opponent. Can they kill Offshoot? Thermal Alchemist, all right. Not killing Offshoot yet. Forgotten Cave. Opponent attacks. Well, we will block. Yep, opponent passes. This feels like it might just be a really good matchup for us. Drift of Phantasms. Well, I guess we just play it safe. Pulse of Marasa back Muldrifter. Go back up to 19. Play Evolving Wilds. Go up to 20. Crack Evolving Wilds. <laughs> go up to 21. <laughs> oh, man. Our opponent has spent their entire hand on bird spells, and we just have so much life gain. What do you got, opponent? <laughs> Can you overcome... I mean, I don't even know how much life we've gained. I think we would have been dead by now if we hadn't gained life. We've gained enough life that we're still over 20 after our burn opponent has played almost their entire hand. And had Curse of the Pierce Art for like a million turns. Opponent gets in. Well, we're going to block. If they kill Offshoot, 
they'll kill they kill off shoot we're kind of okay with it eating a burn spell oh man so many curse to the pure starts and rift bolt all right opponent passes we take three i think what we do is play wall of roots deep analysis play growth chamber gain a life pick up a forest pass the turn opponent pings us down to 18 maybe our opponent can still get there we don't have a loop yet we could use what we need is to find one of our mnemonic walls if we can find mnemonic wall get back paul samarasa hopefully that seals the deal is our opponent going face or all right gonna take down the jotty offshoot that makes a lot of sense opponent goes attacking well we're gonna keep blocking if they throw burn spells at our walls they're not going at our face so we're kind of okay with that pings us down to 16 lava spike down to 13 we are starting to get a little low on life opponent passes down to 10 axe bane guardian well cast small drifter draw a couple cards uh, play a forest play axe bane guardian did not find mnemonic wall we could be dead here it's possible that we're dead pass the turn opponent pings us down to nine which is actually six because of curse to the pure star opponent martyr of ash okay not super scary opponent no attacks all right give us some life gain deck give us some life gain x bane guardian <sighs> well let's start with ghostly flicker on wall and mall drifter draw a couple cards oh i think we're gonna be dead how do we get out of this I guess we just have to try to combo. So transmute drift, get freed from the real. Enchant guardian, untap, tap. Oh man, are we gonna pull this off? Untap, oh my God, tap. This is going to be the slow version of the combo. Untap, we're only making two mana at the moment. Tap, untap, tap. Can we win from here? Uh, we have infinite mana untap tap so we should be able to untap tap untap tap for mana we also have to do it without timing out which should be okay untap tap evoke a mall drifter draw a couple cards untap tap untap tap untap <laughs> so slow tap untap tap lead the stampede wall of roots wall of roots overgrown battlement well untap at least we can start making more mana which is nice tap untap it'll make it less clicks at least tap play overgrown battlement so now we're up to three mana every tap untap tap wall of roots untap now we're up to four mana tap overgrown battlement untap tap play jotty offshoot untap we still have seven minutes so we should be okay untap tap untap tap lead the stampede i mean i guess actually i'm being silly we just win here i don't know why i wasn't doing this already but transmute drift grab valica invoker tap yeah now we got it play valica invoker untap so we got there we probably could have done that a lot quicker but tap for mana yeah i don't know why i was drawing through our deck i guess it's just my love of drawing cards i wasn't thinking oh we can just win if we if we transmute i was thinking oh we can we can draw a lot of cards and eventually win hit our opponent now there's no fizzling well that was closer than i thought it would be untap tap untap i don't know if this will be the most fun combo to watch lots of me saying untap tap untap tap hit our opponent 14 get rid of the non-blue mana we don't need non-blue mana anymore untap don't have enough yet tap for blue untap tap for blue hit our opponent for three <laughs> hit our opponent for three hit our opponent for three oh wall combo good against burn we learned hit our opponent for three and one last time for the win valka voker no misclicks 
Probably could have won quicker with the transmute, but we got there. We got there. We got there. <sighs> well, super big thank you to our opponent, Russell Crew. That feels like a miserable matchup, and they let us play out the entire combo. So, uh, awesome for content. So, big thank you. You were super cool. Definitely appreciate it. Uh, yeah, but that's uh, that is, that's one combo. We did it. We did it. Not 100% efficiently, but seems good against Bird. All right, playing Pauper time. Playing some walls. Wall combo. Can we keep the no green hand? We are on the draw. We're going to keep this. If we get a green source, this hand's pretty good. Remote Isle. Oh, boy. Green mana, please? Eh, Mull Drifter's not the worst. Mull Drifter means we can at least try to evoke it. Oh, it's Tron. All right. Well, Mountain Go. I don't know how we do against Tron. Painted Bluff. And Seagate Oracle. Yep. Opponent gets a card and passes. We'll play the island. Evoke a Mull Drifter. Draw a couple cards. Oh my goodness. Well, play Shield Sphere. Play Shield Sphere. Pass the turn. Heh. <laughs> Not only do we whiff on card draw, we whiffed on lands, period. Opponent. Or, we miffed on green mana and lands, period. Now, well, there's green mana. Well, transmute drift. Take... Hmm. Let's take ghostly flicker. Place him at growth chamber. Pick up the mountain. Pass the turn. Tron probably has a lot of counters. Uh, teachings, teachings, teachings. All right. For their own ghostly flicker. Uh, Tron nearly assembled. We don't really have a way to interact with this, especially in our main deck. Uh, Tron is assembled. Oh, God. Opponent, mana, infinite, flickers, gets more cards, mnemonic wall. Yeah, I think this is just game. I don't even know if we try to, like, grind it out. We probably don't. Play Wall of Roots. Play Axbane Guardian. Actually, play the Mountain. Play Axbane Guardian. Pass the turn. I guess our only pseudo shot is that we... Our stuff doesn't die. And we just resolve the combo and win. Yep, there's the flickering. Gets a new card. Gets back ghostly flicker. Tron is better at the flicker plan than we are. Seagate. Yeah, Alright. Opponents tap down. Oh, just kidding. Opponent's not tapped down. Opponent passes. What conceivable way is there winning this game? Play Jotty Offshoot. Play Deep Analysis. Okay, I mean, all we can do is go for it. If they have it, if they have it, we're dead. But we can go for it. Come on, no counters, no removal. Reza, oh my goodness. Untap. Tap. We still need to hit cards to actually win, but... We have, a sh we have infinite mana. Oh my goodness. We actually have a shot. Our opponent did not have an answer. They assembled their stuff super quickly as well. All right. So flashback, draw a couple cards. Untap. Tap for green. Play Wall of Roots. Play Wall of Roots. We need to find Mnemonic Wall. We do have two lead the Stampedes to find Mold Drifters and other card draw. That's what we're missing for just to just win. Or maybe our opponent scoops. That would also be fine. We can make our infinite mana at instant speed, so that's not an issue. So mnemonic wall, uh getting back drift of phantasm with pulse would do it. There's a, a few different things we can hit here. Alright, so untap, tap, play overgrown battlement. Just maximizing our our mana production. Untap. Tap. Well, it's going to all come down to these lead the stampedes. Untap. Tap. Lead the stampede. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. All right. Wall of Roots Drift to Phantasms. That does help. Untap. Tap. Do we just go for the win? Untap. I mean, we can try to just drift for the win. Let's cast another lead the stampede first. Untap. Our opponent could theoretically be slow rolling a counter. Although with only one blue, it seems unlikely they have a hard counter. So float the mana, lead the stampede. Alright, overgrown battlement, Jotty offshoot. 
Untap. I mean, I guess we just got to try to win. I don't think we have we have an option. So play the rest of our walls. Jotty Offshoot. Wall of Roots. Overgrown Battlement. Untap. I mean, if they have a counter, they got us. Tap for blue. Untap. Tap for blue. And yeah, I mean, I guess we just try it. All right, let's think this through really quick. Well, we transmute Drift. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to go for it. All right, no slow roll. Okay. I was trying to figure out if there was any reason to get Pulse Murasa to get back drift and go that way, but that still loses to a counter, and it loses to, like, dispel-type counters that we don't lose to by just casting the creature. So, uh, that worked. That worked. That worked. All right, opponent's playing Tron. Capsize seems very important. Dispels seem pretty good as well. Maybe just go down the shield spheres. Could bring in another Pulse. Hmm. Yeah, let's just try it like that. Dispels to deal with counter spells, and in theory, Capsize is our way of dealing with Tron lands. All right. Uh, a little tap land heavy, but this hand has a lot of mana potential. Urza's Tower, Expedition Map. Uh-oh, that feels like a fast Tron hand. Thornwood Falls, go. Untap land would be nice here. Oh no, just like modern, turn three Tron. Evolving Wilds, go. Well... That is, uh, that is what Tron does. Opponent cracks. Gets the missing Tron piece. Plays the mine. There's the blue mana. Cycles. Signet for more blue mana. Well, crack this. Grab an island. All right. We're going to resolve something. Land would be so good. All right. Not a land. So we just play Overgrown Battlement. <laughs> Pass the turn. Not super happy with where we're at at the moment. Horror. Bounces our wall. We'll discard Deep Analysis. Cracks Expedition Map. More Tron lands. Opponent passes. Not a land. Yeah, I don't think any of this matters. Not a land, and we are going to scoop it up. Scoop it up, scoop it up. Probably an early scoop, but this is going to be a long league, so... Hand just did not come together. Ugh, Tron. Tron, Tron, Tron. Brutal. Well, we're on the play. And I don't think we can keep this. Ugh. Ugh, so bad. All right. This is not looking good, boys and girls. This is not looking even a little good. Land go. Ay, 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 ay. Opponent. Expedition map. Evolving Wilds. Pass the turn. Oh, Tron. How I hate you. Crack Evolving Wilds. Grab a forest. Play an island. Play Axe Bane Guardian. Opponent. Gonna have seven mana next turn. Hooray. <laughs> hooray, hooray, hooray. Tron assembled. There's the blue mana. Animal Drifter. Transmute Drift, I guess. Get lead the stampede. Pass the turn. Opponent. Prophetic Prism. Draws a card. Seagate Oracle. Goes digging. And Prophetic Prism. Draws a card. And more Tron. So much mana. So much manas. Opponent gets in, hits us. Yup. Down to 18. Passes. Well, lead the stampede. Oh, we get some creatures. Four creatures. Play Wall of Roots. Play Thornwood Falls. Gain a life. Pass the turn. Forbidden Alchemy for our opponent. Alright, grab something. Another Seagate Oracle. Sure. Prophetic Prism. Draws a card. Prophetic Pism. Draws a card. Mall Drifter. Uh, opponent's tapped out. I don't know if there's a way we can win this turn, but our opponent is, well, tapped down. Opponent gets in. Yep. And passes. Discards in a hand size. Forest. I mean, all we can do is go for it. We don't have counter backup, but transmute drift. Get freed from the reel. Come on. No removal. No removal. Post groups it up! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe we won that. Oh my goodness, I thought we were so dead. Uh, wall combo. It's still going. It's still going. Oh man, I guess, uh, oh man. I get so scared against Tron with the mana, but I guess sometimes they just don't have it. It's not modern. Sometimes they just don't have it. Uh, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right. Playing popper time. Wall combo. Still going. 
And we got walls. We will keep them. Hopefully we find some card draw, but we have double guardian and wall of root. So we will see. All right. So forest, give. See what we're up against. Island. All right. It's Delver time. Not sure how Delver goes, honestly. Play the island. Play wall of root. The challenge is going to be actually resolving counter spells or resolving our combo pieces through our opponent's counter spells. I feel like I just never beat Delver and Pauper, but Delver does not flip. Opponent preordains. Gonna set up the flip for next turn. Sure. Island for our. Oh my god, that's a lot of Delver. Okay. Well, play the forest. Play Axebane Guardian. Pass the turn. I guess, in theory, if we can resolve Muldrifter, it. It blocks Delvers. Uh, flips with a bolt. And there's the red mana for the bolt. And there's the bolt on the guardian. We don't really have <laughs> traditional removal. Opponent gets in. Double Delver. Down to 14. And passes. Well, let's play guardian. Pass the turn. Island for our opponent. Nivik Cyclops. Okay. Well, our walls can potentially block that. Opponent does get in for a billion, probably better known as six. Down to eight. <laughs> Vapor Snakes are guardian, not good. All right, play guardian. I think our only realistic chance of winning here is just trying to combo off. We're probably dead, but I don't think at this point, down to seven, I don't think we can try to block the Delver and win that way. I think we just have to hope our opponent has nothing, they have something, and we are dead. Well, double Delver, double Delver draw. Not what you want to see in Popper. So bring in Stormbound Geist. I still, I don't know about Scattershot Archer. Like, how is Scattershot Archer supposed to kill Delvers? I think we actually don't bring in Scattershot Archer. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but I think we're going to go down Shield Spheres, which don't do a whole lot. Go up Dispel, go up Dispel. Go up Capsize, Stormbound Geist, and go down... Maybe one lead the Stampede? Yeah, let's try it like that. I think if we're playing against, like, the builds that have other flyers, like Fairy Miscreant, then this probably gets better. But this is like a Cyclopsy, Kiln Feeny Delver deck, which I think makes Scattershot worse. Because killing actual Delver is not easy with Scattershot. You need two of them. Because before it flips, it's not flying, and then once it flips, it has two toughness, so... Yeah. Alright, we're on the play for game number two, and... I don't know if we can keep this. We need to draw blue mana for our hand to even kind of do anything. I think we gotta ship it. Ugh. Alright. Island on top, please. Island... Oh, mountain. Okay, we're gonna... We can't not keep a land. We desperately need a blue source. We can battle mint on two... So if we draw a blue source, then we get to these Muldrifters. Island. No Delver. No Delver. Delver. Oh, just one time I want a Delver deck to not have Delver on turn number one. All right, Battlement, go. At least it cannot be bolted. If we draw a blue source, I think we're in okay. Uh, Delver! The blind flip. Oh, uh, Delver. Down to 17. And now we're just probably dead. Opponent preordains, looking for mana. Come on, blue source. Come on, blue source. Please, please, please. We just need an island. Island, evoke Muldrifter. Draw some cards. Leaves both cards on top. Get Axiom Probe. Takes a peek at our hand. Sure. Yeah, opponent knows we cannot cast anything. Into a land, I assume. It's an island. And ponder. Oh, Delver. Oh, Delver. I actually, I don't know. Oh, this deck. I really do think it's, it is like the fun police of Popper. Whether or not it's too good, well, we get a super slow island. Um, So I feel like Delver's a fun police. Whether or not it's too good, I'm not the Popper expert. I feel like I lose to it a lot, and I feel like every sweet Popper deck we play it is able to beat a lot of the other decks, but almost exclusively loses to pa uh, Delver, which is a little bit sad. Pony gets a mountain. Ponders. 
I mean, it's not over. I guess we could draw another land. Hardcast Moldrifter tried to... The deck finds so many Delvers. Grab an island. Come on, land. Well, play Overgrown Battle Mat. Evoke a Delver. Draw two. Play Thornwood Falls. Pass the turn. Gotta assume the Delver's flipping here. Because our opponent just pondered. We know they have Gush in hand. Flips with another cantrip, Preordain. Cast Preordain. I guess we can attempt to capsize Delvers. All right, ponder. Well, that almost certainly has to be our plan. Island. Hits us down to nine. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Down to nine. Also, Kiln Fiend. I'll play Wall of Roots. Oh, this is tough. So we can capsize a Delver. We can Muldrifter. We have six, seven, eight, nine mana. Ten mana. Hmm. Really would like a blue source. Oh, play the island. I mean, I guess all we can really do is capsize a Delver. Pass the turn. Hope we remain in the land of the living. A bit pinch on blue mana. Opponent gonna gush? There's a the gush. Sure. Eight cards in hand. The mana is a bit clunky in this deck. We're really counting on our walls to fix it, but only x Bane Guardian actually fixes for blue. Probably dead here. Uh oh Battle Rage? Sure. That is lethal. Ah, all right. We've been Delvered. Can't win them all, I guess. All right. Playing Popper time. We are looking to wall combo in Popper, of course. And this hand's land heavy, but, but it's kind of okay because we do have Wall of Roots and we do have Deep Analysis, which is going to end up being a lot of fresh cards. Prophetic Prism. I actually do not know what our opponent's playing. Yeah, there's a wall. Let's just island, run out Wall of Roots, pass the turn. At some point, we're going to have to start getting down these bounce lands. Is this a, a Scred deck? Boros... I mean, what we really want to play against with this deck is just random creature decks. We do not really want to play against the counter spells of Delver, but against random creature decks, we just draw so many cards and generate so much value that it's really hard for just random, random creature beat down dork decks to actually beat wall, <laughs> beat the walls. Plus, it makes our blockers relevant, which helps. Journey to nowhere. All right. There goes wall one. And a bounce land. That does slow us down a smidge. I'll play growth chamber, pick up the island. Hopefully, if they can blow up our bounce land. I don't know what this deck is exactly. Probably like a battle screech deck. I think that's the the white red deck is like battle screech life gain stuff. So pick up the island. Hope for no land destruction. Then we can start deep analyzing analyzing palace uh so opponent gets to start drawing extra cards we are not good at taking the crown well play the island deep analysis pass the turn discard deep analysis uh, we will see we will see okay alchemist vial Enters the battlefield, draw a card, sack it, target creature can't block this turn. And core sky fisher. Our opponent actually kind of has a clock, and they're drawing two cards per turn. This is, oh my goodness. Bajooka bog! Who, who plays random bajooka bogs? Oh, that's, that is very, very bad for us. Oh, play Jotty offshoot. Play Axe Guardian. 
Place him at Growth Chamber. Gain a life. Pick up an island. Oh, uh, that was... That... That Bajookabog really set us back. And we're getting outdrawn? Ugh. Uh, 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 uh. Not good, not good, not good. Opponent. Alchemist Vile. Is back, draws a card. This Guardian Living would be a big deal, because we can protect it next turn with... Alright, not living. Yep, there goes our Guardian. Well, I thought this would be one of our good matchups, but this... This Monarchy... Opponent taking the crown is ruining us. Alright, block with offshoot. Actually, the real problem is that we lost... Is that we lost both of our card draw spells to that... Random off-color Bajookabog. Opponent, drawing extra cards. Well, play Wall of Roots. Play Mnemonic Wall. For no value, because we don't have... Uh, our stuff in the graveyard. Pass the turn. Pona Cycles. Gonna need some old Rifters. Stat. Thraben Inspector. Gets a clue. Skyfisher. Picks up Thraben Inspector. Great Furnace. Thraben Inspector. Gets a clue. Gets in. Uh, Mold Rifter, please. Right now. Right now. <clears throat> Well, play Axman Guardian. Play an island. Pass the turn. Opponent sacks a clue. Draws even more cards. Come on, Muldrifter. Alright. Ghostly Flicker. Flicker, Flicker. Get back, Ghostly Flicker. Well, staying alive, but not exactly winning yet. Alchemist Vile draws a card. Oh, we really needed those two deep analyses. Galvanic Blast. Well, I mean... Try again. Sacks a clue. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, there goes Guardian. Get back, Ghostly Flicker. Well, we're seeing the power of the monarchy in Pauper. It is absolutely destroying us. Opponent gets in. Block. Mold Drifter. Give us a Mold Drifter. Opponent draws. Haha, <laughs> dear. Play Axe Bank Guardian. Play an Island. Pass the turn. We're down to 11. Opponent's just drawn like an infinite number of cards. And we're supposed to be the card advantage deck. Prophetic Prism. More Glint Hawks. Okay, so we essentially have to win this turn. And how we win this turn, it partly involves getting lucky. But it goes attacking. Oh, block, block. Partly involves getting lucky. Partly involves... Drawing Mold Drifter into combo pieces. Blink, blink. Good God. Opponent. Opponent, opponent. Yeah, I think that does it. It's a lot of lightning bolts. Wall of Roots, and we will scoop it up. Yeah, that Bajooka Bog. <laughs> got us, got us, got us, got us good. Okay. Opponent's playing Artifact Jank? I don't, I don't really know what this deck is exactly. Bring in Paul Samarasa. Let's bring in these Marauders. Go down Shield Sphere. Go up. Is Marauder worth it? Maybe we go one. I like that Marauder can steal the Monarchy. And they do have artifacts, although I don't know. I guess they set clues. Yeah, well, we'll go Marauders. And then maybe, like, go down one lead the Stampede for one to spell. Try it like that. All right. We're on the play for game number two, and... <laughs> okay. I mean, this is not the worst. We have lead on Thornwood Falls. So we get to Wall of Roots, and then we can, like, drift to Phantasms for maybe lead the Stampede or something. 
Wall of Roots is, shouldn't be super easy for our opponent to kill. Ooh, I do like Muldrifter. Play Wall of Roots, pass the turn. I mean, it can be killed, but it requires our opponent to have Journey to Nowhere. Prophetic Prism for our opponent. And passes. Thornwood. All right, let's Transmute Drift for Pulse Marasa. Play Thornwood Falls. Pass the turn. So now we can always Pulse Morasa back the Drift. Assuming we don't get Bajuka Bogged again. Another Prophetic Prism. Opponents up in their artifact count. Great Furnace. All right. I'll play an Island. And Hardcast Muldrifter. Wow! All right. Pyroblast. Okay, opponent. Okay, okay, okay. And opponent taking the monarchy, of course. Draws extra cards. I'll play Axe Guardian. Pass the turn. Ugh. Our opponent being the monarch is incredibly bad for us. As is our opponent having roughly infinite lightning bolts. Lightning bolt. Well, we will dispel. Make our opponent actually have two removal spells to kill it. Prophetic Prism. Come on! Let us attack with this Guardian! We need the mana. No bolts, no blasts. Galvanic blasts, that is. Come on. Land. Opponent finds the journey to nowhere. Uh, shirt. Shirt, shirt, shirt. Goes attacking. Well, that's ambitious. We will block you. Opponent gets to enjoy drawing extra cards. Let's just play Marauder. Pass the turn. Alchemist Vile. Draws a card. Deck has a lot of removal. Thraben Inspector gets a clue. Sure. Marauder does dodge a lot of their burn-based removal. Another land. Opponent. No attacks. Draws a card. Hmm. Let's pulse Marasa. Get back Muldrifter. Evoke a Muldrifter. Sacks a clue. All right, we gain some life. Definitely yes to the life gain. We've almost run this wall of roots out of business. Wow. All right. Sax Alchemist Vile. Well, place him at Growth Chamber. Pick up a forest. And pass the turn. Having this deep analysis should be helpful. We're at 38, which is a high life total. And that's a draw four. I'm starting to think we should have brought in Capsize to deal with Journey to Nowhere. Like, end of turn, get back Axe Bane Guardian. Go to town. Relic of Progenitus. Uh, okay, you get our Dispel. That is annoying. Core Skyfisher. Picks up Thraben Inspector. Replays Thraben Inspector. Bounce land. Yeah, definitely wish we had brought in Capsize. Opponent. Draws more cards. We'll go to combat. Get in with Marauder. Opponent goes big blocks. Well, we will kill Thraben Inspector and Skyfisher. Deep analysis, draw two. Play a land. Flashback deep analysis, draw two. And pass the turn. Opponent sacks their clue. Opponent gonna get in. 
Well, next turn we get to play a bunch of walls. And we still have a lot of card draw. Ponent is still drawing a lot of extra cards, though. Down to 33. Ponent, Glintok, picks up Prophetic Prism. Prophetic Prism draws a card. Relic gets rid of Drift. Wins card, Greg. Opponent draws a card. Got to discard the hand size. Drift of Phantasms. Let's Mnemonic Wall make our opponent sacrifice their Relic. Or let us get back the Pulse Marasa. Or our opponent has Pyroblast. That's option C. Wall of Roots. Play Evolving Wilds. Pass the turn. Ugh. The Monarchy is surprisingly hard for us to beat. It really is. Block this. We just don't have a way to pressure, so our opponent just infinitely gets to draw two cards a turn, which is kind of annoying. Opponent relics randomly down to 31. Land. Well, Crag of Alving Wilds. Grab an island. Opponent draws. Let's deep analysis. Draw two. Deep analysis. Opponent cycles. Play Thornwood Falls. Gain a life. Play a Drift of Phantasms. Pass the turn. I'm not sure how we're going to combo off through this amount of removal. And our opponent just having so many cards. And the Relic. They have a lot of our bases covered-ish. Yep. Gets our Evolving Wilds. Journey to Nowhere. Gets rid of our Drift so our opponent can attack with the Flyer. Gets in. Now we will block. Down to 27. Land for our opponent. Draws an extra card. Well, let's lead the Stampede. Wall of Roots, Mnemonic Wall, Jotty Offshoot. Play Wall of Roots. Play Jotty Offshoot. Play Jotty Offshoot. Pass the turn. Opponent gets rid of our lead, the Stampede. Gets in with the flyer. We take it. All the way down to 25. Skyfisher. Well, here comes the flyers. Prophetic Prism. Draws a card. More relics. So many relics. Draws a card. All right, so play a forest, game two. Play lead the stampede. Marauder and Battlement. Play Marauder. Um. Yeah, let's just pass. Opponent, sticking with the relics. Vial. Yep. Opponent, gets in with the flyers. Sure. Down to 23. Another Skyfisher. 
picks up Sky Fisher. Sky Fisher. Pervetic Prism. Windscard Craig. Opponent draws an extra card. And passes. Discards. Well, there's a Muldrifter. So let's cast Muldrifter. Opponent does have a lot of Pyroblasts. I will give our opponent that. Play Overgrown Battlement. Play... Axe Bane Guardian. And... Pass the turn. Opponent, Relics. Opponent, Relics. Untaps. Relics. And Relics. Bounce land. Opponent. Gonna get in with the Glint Hawk. And this guy. All right, opponent's going all in. Shirt. Yep. Down to 17. Lightning bolts. Okay. Draws a card. Well, start with lead the stampede. Invoker, Battlement, Guardian. Play an island up to 19. Transmute, Drift. Get Pulse Marasa. Play Battlement. Paul Sumarasa, back the drift. Opponent sacks a relic. Play mnemonic wall. Opponent cycles. Hopefully they don't find the fourth pyroblast. Get back, Paul Samarasa. Uh, I'm afraid we're just going to die here. Well, pass the turn. Ugh. Yeah, past the turn. Uh, I think there's a chance we just die to burn spells. That's the that is the problem. Even though we're at a relatively high life total, we saw a lot of burn spells in game one. So I would not be surprised if we were dead. And these relics are keeping us from gaining life. Opponent gets in for a billion. Yep. Are we dead? Down to thirteen. Thraben Inspector. Okay, not dead exactly yet. Windscard Craig. Opponent draws. 
Come on, Dak. Give us something good. Opponent discards. So we draw an island. Play the island. Gain some life. Go to combat. Attack with Marauder. Opponent jumps. Yep. So... Paul Samarasa back Wall of Roots. Gets fizzled. Play Axeman Guardian. And pass the turn. Yeah, pretty sure we're dead here. Uh, maybe there's something we could have done better. Opponent goes attacking. Yep, hits us for a billion. Down to nine. Glintock, even more flyers. So I think, in hindsight, if we had to play this matchup again, would have brought in the cap size, I think. Even though a million pyroblasts mean it's not, definitely not guaranteed to work. This deck has a surprising amount of, it's basically basically a control deck. It is not an aggro deck. Galvanic Blast, yeah. Opponent's just got a million points of burn. Galvanic Blast, and Lightning Bolt. All right. Oh, well, maybe there's something we could have done better, but boy, was there a lot of sideboard hate. That was an incredible amount of sideboard hate. Hmm. Ah, the life of wall combo. Sometimes sweet, sometimes unsweet. All right. Playing popper time. We are wall comboing. In popper, of course. And, okay. Clunk-ish, but we have a pretty good wall curve, and we do have a Muldra. So we'll, we'll keep this. Lots of tap lands, but see what our opponent's doing. Hopefully anything but Delver. Forgotten Cave. All right. Probably not Delver. Thornwood Falls, good. I mean, burn, if this is burn, life is wonderful. Wonderful beyond reason. Kind of looking like burn. It is burn. All right. Feeling a little bit more confident. Yup, opponent doing their thing. We have a lot of life gain, though. A lot of strange life gain. So play Jotty Offshoot, <laughs> which I'm sure our burn opponent does not want to see. Simic Growth Chamber, pick up Thornwood Falls. We would like a untap land so we can actually cast a thing next turn. That would be ideal. Opponent. Although, like, even if we can't cast anything, we're still gaining two, which is almost a time walking. All right, kills our Offshoot. So much for gaining two. Although that's a burn spell that's not going at our... Opponent passes. Play Thornwood Falls. Pass the turn. Well, we're doing it the slow way, but we're at 19 and our opponent's down to three cards. We honestly might just cast one of these Drifts next turn. Actually, maybe evoking Muldrifter. Ooh, untap land. If we evoke Muldrifter, we're discarding like... All right, we're just going to play Axeman Guardian. If it dies, we can... We can get it back eventually. Thornwood Falls, back up to 20. Pass the turn. Opponent, Magma Jet. Yep, that's fine. Both on top. Well, I'm sure that's what our opponent wanted to see. Thermal Alchemist, sure. And opponent passes. I'll play the land. Play Wall of Roots. Play a Mull Drifter. No Evoke. Draw a couple cards. And pass the turn. And this is exactly where our deck wants to be. 18 is high enough that we shouldn't be in danger of immediately dying. All right, needle drop, damage, draws a card, untaps Thermo Alchemist, down to 16, down to 15. Lava Spike, untaps, down to, well, all right, down to 12. Opponent's kind of going to town. I guess we probably just have to get... All right, down to 11. Lightning Bolt. All right, kills our Guardian. Fair enough. Well, I guess we got to go on the life gain plan here. Shield Sphere. So Transmute Drift. Grab a... Paul Samarasa. Paul Samarasa. Get back. Um. 
Yeah, let's just take offshoot for now. Back up to 17. Get in with Muldrifter. Play a Shield Sphere. And pass the turn. Down to 16. Opponent. Passes. Play Jotty Offshoot. Play Jotty Offshoot. Play a land. Go back up to 18. Play Mnemonic Wall. Get back Pulse. Get away Mall Drifter. Well, I think we just got this one. I think we're good. Even if our opponent had four Lightning Bolts, we shouldn't just be dead. And then we go back to gaining six. And hopefully gaining additional life with with our lands. Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt. Alright, Curse of Pierce Start. That's fine. We can gain enough life that that shouldn't be a big issue. Opponent passes. Down to 16. Lead the Stampede. So I think what we do is evoke a Muldrifter. Yeah, let's just let it go. Uh, there's a land. Sure, Muldrifter dies. Play a forest. Go up to 18. Get in with Muldrifter. Hit our opponent. Pass the turn. Plan on just... Alright, let's just do it now. Paul Sumarasa, get back Muldrifter. Yeah, Paul Sumarasa, back Muldrifter. Back up to 24. I mean, at this point, we basically just want to gain enough life that we're not in danger of dying. Opponent plays a land. We might just be getting the very rare beatdown kill. Down to 22. Deep analysis. Well, evoke a Mall Drifter. Draw two. Ghostly Flicker. Get back, Ghostly Flicker. Draw some more. Oh, man. I'm... <laughs> Another Jotty Offshoot, too. Play Offshoot. Play the Island. Game three. Play Shield Sphere. Get in with Mall Drifter. And pass the turn. I think this is just one of our best matchups. We could try to go for the combo eventually, but I don't even know if we need to. Yeah, opponent scoops it up. We just gained enough life that our opponent just can't kill us. All right, opponent's playing burn. Go down shield sphere. Go up two hydroblasts. Go up one more pulse Marasa. And let's just run it like that. I mean, our main plan here is just to gain life. That's all that we really need to do. Um, okay, we got Jetty offshoot. And a wall of roots, and can draw a bunch of cards. Opponent, Rift Bolt, suspended. Yeah, let's just play offshoot. If our opponent wants to Rift Bolt it, eh, not going at our face. Still a small victory. Alright, goes phase, down to 17. And Alchemist. We'll play a forest, gain a life. Play wall of roots. Pass the turn. Still at 18 at the moment. Hopefully finding some more life gain at some point. Firebrand archer. Well, if our opponent ever casts spells, they're going to deal a lot of damage. 
Opponent passing. All right, play Axe Bane Guardian. Play Thornwood Falls. Go back up to 20. And now our opponent has to kill Axe Bane Guardian. So that's going to be a burn spell that's not going at our face. Down to 19. Although, every burn spell is plus 2 damage at the moment, which, that is scary. That is a lot of free damage. Whew, boy. Another Thermo Alchemist. Does this mean Guardian's gonna live? Oh, Mountain. Come on, no bolts, no bolts. Pings, uh. Yep. Oh, they got it. All right. All right, all right. Well, opponent's down to two cards. That's something. But we lost our guardian. Opponent passes. Well, evoke a Muldrifter. We gotta hit lands. All right. Play Evolving Wilds, gain a life. Crack Evolving Wilds. Gain a life. Oh, with so many creatures though, I'm definitely not comfortable with where we're at. We gotta start gaining big chunks of life at some point. Opponent pings us down to 18. Untaps. All right, let's see how dead we are. Pings us, pings us. Lightning bolts us, untaps. Yep. Down to 12, which is actually way lower than 12. Relic of Progenitus, okay. Down to 11. Opponent, passing. Axbane Guardian. Hmm. Play Axbane Guardian. Pass the turn. Uh, it's gonna be super close. We're gonna have to Hydroblast a Thermo Alchemist, I think. Pings us to ten. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Pings us to nine. Relic, yep. Well, we're dead to two burn spells. Untaps. Pings us eight. Pings us seven. Land. Searing Blaze. Well, definitely going to Hydroblast that. So, Hydroblast. Searing Blaze. Opponent passing. Gonna need some good draws. Free from the real would be our best draw. All right, opponent's just going for it. If they hit a burn spell, a three dam. Oh, they hit it. No. Really? Oh. Wow. Well, that was a good one to have on the top of our opponent's deck. That was a lot of creatures. That was a lot of creatures. Um, I, I thought this was our best matchup too, but that was a little sketchy. Let's go up one Dispel and go down one lead the Stampede. Try it like that. We do get to be on the play, which is good. That's where we want to be. Let's get a nice hand. All right, nice enough, mostly thanks to a million Muldrifter. We don't have life gain, but Muldrifter can help us find our life gain, hopefully. Bonnet, mountain, and passes. We'll play the island, play battlement, pass the turn. Cycles, Forgotten Cave, untaps. There's Thermo Alchemist, not exactly our friend. Bonnet passes. Well, evoke a Muldrifter. I'm not sure why we have five mana. I'm very unsure. That doesn't look like five mana to me, but is this a bug? Is this tapping from, I'm very confused. What is, uh, yeah, I don't know. 
we've been playing Overgrown Battlement the whole time, and I haven't noticed any bugs. But for some reason, that was showing us five mana in our mana pool. Now I feel like a. Now I feel bad. Firebrand Archer. Ugh. We should have just evoked this anyway. That was that was my bad. I was just caught by surprise that we had that much mana. Yep. So apparently Overgrown Battlement is bugged-ish or something. Down to 17. Opponent draws a card. Jotty Offshoot. Yeah, it's definitely tapping for two. Well, play Jotty Offshoot. Evoke a Muldrift. Draw a couple cards. Play Evolving Wilds. Gain a life. Crack Evolving Wild. Grab a... Grab our Mountain. Gain a life. Yeah, let's just pass. Opponent pings us. Down to 18. There's a Mountain. Pings us. Down to 17. Lava Spike. Yep. Down to something low. 13. 12. Searing Blaze. Well, I think that's worthy of a counter. 11. Pings us. 10. No way. No way! No! No! No, no! Oh my god, Unreal. All right. Sure, 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 sure. Well, ugh. That's wall mill for ya. That was pretty much the insaneous bird hand that I've ever seen. We had the Pulse of Marasa, but it was a turn too late. So, wall mill, ugh. Ugh, I thought burn was our best matchup. Uh, yeah. We started off good with two wins, and then... The deck seems like it's a lot better when opponents don't know what's going on. Once they bring in their graveyard hate and bring in uh, more removal to answer our pieces and like the pyroblasts and stuff, then things get a bit sketchy. Still a little disappointed we lost that last burn matchup. Opponent's hand in, uh, in game three was just pretty absurd. They drew so many of their burn creatures and so many fire, uh, pyro, fire blasts. Eh? All right, that's Burn Mill. You can win with it, but you're not going to win consistently with it. So, eh, all right, sweet. So what do we learn this week about Defender Combo for Pauper? And overall, we started off well. We started off 2-0, but then we kind of succumbed or scumbled as we went through the rest of our matches to finish with a 2-3. and three. So there's good news here. There's bad news here. So good news is the combo is super sweet when it works, and it's... It is surprisingly effective, especially when opponents don't know what's coming. If our opponent doesn't realize what we're trying to do and what the plan of the deck is, it's kind of easy to sneak out the combo. On the other hand, once our opponent figures out what's going on, or if they're familiar with the combo in the deck, then things get a lot harder. Graveyard Heat is bad, our opponent bringing in more removal and counters is really bad, so it really depends on how well our opponent knows the archetype. We can make a lot of mana really quickly and we do have a lot of card draw the problem is if our opponent can play some graveyard hate leave up some removal spells for our combo all the mana and all the cards in the world doesn't really save us because the end result is if we can't like loop mnemonic wall go infinite with x bane guardian all we're doing is playing zero power creatures that can't attack so if we can't combo off it's very unlikely that we're able to win because muldrifter and one valica invoker are literally our only attackers in the game so the value engine of grinding out games, drawing cards, eventually going infinite, it's very strong, but it's also more fragile than you'd think. We don't really have counter spells. We don't really have removal. One other thing we noticed is against Delver, we have surprisingly few ways to actually stop a Delver. We have three copies of Drift of Phantasm, also the Mull Drifters, but they die to all the Delver removal or get countered or we have to evoke them. So maybe some more Delver answers would be nice. But I think the deck, overall, it feels like it is competitive enough that you can definitely get people with it. And the combo does work, but once the opponent knows what's going on, if they don't misplay and they just leave up their mana, leave up their removal, leave up their counter spells and graveyard hate and all their interactive spells and beat you down with a random flyer or something, it's really hard to actually overcome that. So, I don't know. It feels like a fun, like, semi-competitive pauper deck, and you could definitely... 5-0 a league or something, if you hit the right matchups, if the opponents don't know what's going on, but once they figure it out,
out. And that's kind of the downside of the deck. If it ever did catch on and become a legitimate part of the pauper meta, I feel like it would get a lot, lot worse because we don't really have, like I said, uh, protection, counter spells. We're just kind of running our stuff out there and hoping that just brute force card draw in our opponent being kind of like ignorant of how the combo works will be enough to win the game and while that's enough sometimes it doesn't work every time so i don't know i think the deck was fun it's really cool when it goes off but i'm not sure it's consistent enough to actually fight through the hate and consistently like 5-0 so good news is it is a pauper deck it's only 61 dollars. so if you want a sweet different pauper deck to try out and win some games with it's a super cool idea idea and it does work well enough to steal some games but i wouldn't expect to win the next like pauper championship or even like consistently 5-0 leagues with defender combos so anyway that's been defender combo for pauper and that's been our playing pauper deck for this week so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i will talk to you soon thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it help us out by clicking that like button down below and to keep up on all the latest and greatest click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.